Let's look at another example. Suppose you borrow $800 to buy a bike, and each week you repay $50. How soon before your loan is paid? So here's a graph of that situation, and notice instead of starting at week one or row one, we're starting at week zero, and that's going to change our formula a little bit. So at week zero, you owe $800. At the end of week one, you owe 750 and so on. And notice that this is a linear function. So this is the graph of a line. Let's analyze what we know. We know that the amount of the loan is 800, so A is 800. We know that you are repaying $50 every week, so D is minus 50. And what you want to know is, what week will it be when this function goes all the way to zero? So here's how we're going to set up that equation. We want to know when the amount of the loan is zero. We started with our 800 and we're paying $50 every week. So since we started at week zero, we have an n, not an n minus one like we had in our previous formulas. So to solve this, we just have to solve for n. So you are going to add 50 n to both sides, divide by 50, and you will find that your loan will be repaid after 16 weeks. How would this equation change if you were going to repay $75 a week? Everything would stay the same except your $50 would be replaced by the minus 75.